All right, so here we go. This is it. Part 5, episode 5 of Money Heist is finally here. Well, it's always been here since the episodes dropped, but I am finally here to see it firsthand. I know a lot of you people watching this right now know exactly what went down, what happened, but I, at this current moment in time, I'm absolutely clueless. And when I was talking to my friend about this, he watched all of part five in one go. And I told him, I was like, should I record my reaction to any of the episodes? Because I wasn't really planning on doing so, but he said that you should definitely react to episode five. So I've seen all of the heistness up until this point, and I'm gonna react to episode five because apparently something huge has went down. He said, like, avoid YouTube, avoid social media, because if this gets spoiled, you will be upset. And that does suggest to me, and I don't want to say it, but I'm pretty sure someone's going to die. And at this current moment in time, it is looking to be Helsinki as well, because he got trapped, his leg was absolutely buggered, he's, like, pretty much on the ropes. Like, if one of the military get at him, he's defenseless. Um... But I just don't really know who else. I mean, anyone could die. Helsinki is the weakest at this stage, but it doesn't really matter. The military are pushing in on everyone. They've already lost Oslo. I mean, no one really cared too much about him, I guess, because the man barely even spoke. Berlin, that was a big one. I'm glad that he's had such a big part, though, still, after his death. Like, the flashbacks, especially with this part, have been very good to watch. You know, that first heist that he went on with his son was a very interesting one. Nairobi, of course, who got shot square in the head by Gandia. And then before that, in the first heist as well, we had Moscow. So they've lost quite a few of their, their gang. So I don't really want to see anyone else go down, you know. But we'll find out right about now, so let's go. <sighs> ah, her head's gonna get drilled. Well, that's a cool scene. Ah! Get the fuck back. Ah. Ah. Yes! She actually got him. Oh fuck. Ah, stop! That's too many shots. Oh my god, she's dead. Look at the blood. Oh, she is getting lit up like a Christmas tree. She can't die. Get her in, get her in, get her in. Get her in the cover! There might still be a chance. The day I killed Gandia, all the odds were against me. Like a marionette held together with bullets. The day I killed Gandia? Why did she say that? Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, this isn't... This is weird because... Right, Tokyo, on paper, in my mind, cannot die because she's the narrator of the show, right? So yeah, she's been shot a good few times. Blood's going everywhere, getting sniped as well. She must still survive, and she must kill Gandia, because she said, the day I killed Gandia, and then whatever. So, now nah, I think we're, we're still alright. Yes! Fucking right, Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo isn't one to die, like, that's just not happening. Tokyo is like, I mean, Tokyo's the main character, she's the first one you meet. This is, even though the professor is the main man in control of the heist, Tokyo is the main character of the whole show. So she's not dying, not a chance. She must get out of this. That's not big enough though. I need to keep going. No, no, no. I'm here with you. Ramiro. You have to keep going. Just hang in there, I'm gonna get you out. All right. There's no time for this. Right, me too. I'm full of surprise. There's no time for this. Hey, come on. Fuck. Okay, what is it? What's going on? Oh God, I can't watch this. I mean, this whole part part five has been the most intense of the whole series but this is do or die the moment of truth can tokyo get out of this one tokyo, tokyo jump now there's no time jump now it's gonna be tough professor 
Can you go on without me? No, Tokyo, I can't jump right now! Oh. You've always been my guardian angel. Now it's my turn to be yours. Oh. oh no, maybe they'll show mercy and let her let that, that's Gandhi. No, that's not happening. Okay, he killed Nairobi. Growing old in a prison cell is a whole oh, no fucking way. He's gonna kill her as well. And if I can't run with my body, <clears throat> at least let my soul be free. Hey, what's up? Oh, the wank as well. Fuck it out! That's fucking insane. She literally blew herself up. But at the same time, she took Gandia and whoever else with her. But that is it. Tokyo has died what she was even narrating her own death that's what I don't understand oh my god who would have thought that we would be witnessing this the death of Tokyo and yeah there we go volume 2 coming December 3rd that's not too long to wait to be fair at least it's not like a year away for the final part but yeah that is quite the ending for sure and not an ending that I would have ever expected. Right so I want to talk about part 5 and some unanswered questions before I do end the video. So the biggest question I have is how is Tokyo narrating the story if she has indeed died herself? Is it just like oh she's telling the story from heaven? But that seems a bit weak, you know? There must be more to this. I don't get how. Like, she blew herself up. But there must be something that we'll, we'll just not see coming. Some big twist in Volume 2 that we'll just never expect. But the fact that Tokyo has died, like, that is a tough one to process. And another big question that will be answered in Volume 2 is that is Arturo actually dead or not? Obviously Stockholm shot him and then she was seeing his, well she was seeing him everywhere but does that mean he died? I don't think so because it's not like she was seeing his ghost it was just like her hallucinating so yeah I think Arturo probably will survive and I know that's not what people want to hear but you know what I've got some respect for Arturo you know, he stands up to the thieves when no one else... Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll tell you what, though, that scene where he and the hostages turned on the gang was so good. That was one of the most chaotic things I've witnessed in this show. And there's a lot of chaotic things. And going back to Stockholm, she really proved there that this heist has messed her up, especially shooting Arturo, you know, her former love interest. They were going to have a baby together. I mean, they kind of did anyway. But Denver is now that baby's proper father. But yeah, it's like, for her, she's really feeling the effects of it. And she has been amazing so far. Because the fact that she just was never meant to be involved in this. You know, she was just a hostage from the first heist. And like now she is helping out the crew big time. You know, it's very, very good to see that. But obviously towards the end there of part five she completely lost it and i want to say something about the military as well because even though they are the villains in this war um they're actually so badass though like they're fucking cool they're scary as well like when they first came in um they would fucking terrify me i'm not gonna lie that one guy oh, i don't know what his name is he got injured but he just kept going hey look at me this is gonna hurt are you ready? Three, two, one, now! And there was a point where they all had the military surrounded, but he just done this creepy laugh, 
and his whole demeanour is just like it reminds me of the Joker I guess and that is fucking terrifying seven seconds <laughs> okay four corners wait for my order and then we had the big brute the fucking huge guy with the double LMGs pa 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 Gandia of course he's already scary enough on his own and dangerous enough on his own and then the captain as well and then the, the woman don't even get me started on the woman that scene where she actually turned on Gandia was class because that made Gandia look really weak and that's you know, that'll take some, some job. <laughs> and I mean, this whole part from start to finish has just been so explosive, so chaotic. Normally in Money Heist, we have those scenes where the hostages are all sitting down, it's quiet, you know, they're getting food handed out. There was just none of that, though, with part five. Like, they're so deep into this heist to the point where the military have been called in. Like, there is no time for any breaks now. It's just a constant war right the way till the end. I really like the way Alicia Sierra has turned sides as well. I think she's turned sides. I don't know if she's like 100% with the professor just yet. Because she, she did find it tough to sort of be on his side because she did hate the guy. But the fact that Colonel Tamayo screwed her over, you know, why would you stay on their side? I mean, she could just go solo, but you know what would be so cool and something that I would love to see before this show does come to an end. Alicia Sierra in a red jumpsuit with a Dali mask. Can you imagine just the face on Colonel Tamayo if he learns that Alicia got into the bank and is working with them from inside the bank? Fucking hell. The thing is though, there's just no possible way, I don't think, of the professor getting anyone else into the bank. I mean, it would be useful to get the likes of Marseille in there, but, I mean, it was already a close enough call getting Lisbon in, and could they do something like that again, especially with the military being in there and surrounding the bank? I don't know. But that is something I would just love to see. Palermo was a lot better this season. He really showed just how good of a leader he is. You know, with parts three and four, he was just such a bitch. And for what? He was the reason why Nairobi died, effectively. He was just always complaining and bitching and, like, he even threatened to leave at one point. Like, what was that about? But with part five, he really showed just how good of a leader he is. Like, he is class. And especially having Lisbon in there also being a leader. You know, Palermo and Lisbon together leading that team. You know, that does give them a good chance. Obviously, Tokyo died because they all got fucked up and got trapped. But, you know, they did a very good job to battle against the military. And I'm actually surprised at just how much we got to see of Manila and also Benjamin, who we did find out in this part that Benjamin is the father of Manila. But there was a part, though, that I did not like about Manila at all. She's a class character, but, oh, this really just got on my nerves, so... There was that part where they were waiting for the military to attack. We had Denver, Manila, and Tokyo. They set up the countertop table, and they were like, you know, had their guns through the holes of it, ready for it, ready for action. But Manila decides that now is the best time to put her gun down and literally distract Denver by telling him how she loves him. Like, fucking hell. Put your gun back up! What are you doing? And I actually thought that Manila and Denver were cousins. I'm sure I got that wrong since Manila is saying that she is in love with Denver. But you never know. But I think that's all I've got to say about Money Heist Part 5 Volume 1. So now we've got to wait until the 3rd of December until we see Volume 2. Which isn't too far away as I said. It's only a few months and time flies by these days, like, the fact that it is September is a bit mad. And I'm giving Part 5, Volume 1, a good strong 10 out of 10 as my rating because it was just so chaotic. There was so much action from Episode 1 right the way through. They didn't take time to get stuck into it. This was definitely the most explosive part of the whole series. And this is 100% the best show on Netflix. Like, I don't think anyone watching this would disagree. If you've, because if you've seen part five and you've seen the whole of Money Heist, how could you say anything else? You know, how could you say that this isn't the best show? I mean, it's the best Netflix series for sure, but for me, there is a show that tops Money Heist and it is Prison Break. 
If you've seen Prison Break, then you may agree with me here. And if you haven't, then Prison Break is a perfect show to watch if you love Money Heist because it is very similar. But that is it for now, so drop a like on the video for me. If you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.